everyone, I am Shirin from Bicycle and in today's video we'll be discussing the difference between a 1x and a 2x setup on a gravel bike. We'll delve into the pros and cons of each setup and take a detailed look at gear ratios. In the end, we'll determine which setup is perfect for each rider, aiding you in deciding which one is the perfect fit for you. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the basics. The difference between the 1x and the 2x setup on gravel bikes. A one by setup involves a single front chain ring paired with a rear cassette containing 11, 12 or even 13 cogs. These setups offer a wide gear range, making them popular for their simplicity and adaptability on diverse terrains. On the other hand, a two by setup features two front chain rings, each with a specific number of teeth, like 46 till 30. The larger chain ring enables higher speeds on flat or downhill sections, while the smaller one allows easier paddling, ideal for climbing, for example. The difference between these two setups can be simplified to a single fundamental factor. Two by gear setups offer more gears. But do they really? I remember from my childhood that the more gears your bike had, the cooler it seemed. However, it's straightforward as this may appear at first glance. Unfortunately, it is not. To understand its complexity, we should take a closer look at gear ratios. Gear ratio is crucial for comprehending how a bike's gears impact its performance. It quantifies the connection between the number of teeth on the chainring and the cassette. To calculate the gear ratio, divide the number of teeth on the chainring by the number of teeth on the cassette gear. For example, if you have a chainring with 30 teeth and a cassette gear with 11 teeth, the gear ratio is 30 divided by 11, simplifying to 2.73. This indicates that for every rotation of the chainring, the cassette gear completes 2.73 rotations. Let me show you the gear ratios of a 46 30 teeth chain set with an 11 till 34 teeth cassette like on this Canyon Grail AL. The gear range on a bike refers to the variety of available gear ratios that can be achieved by combining the front chain rings and rear cassette gears, as shown in the table. A broader gear range means that the bike offers a wider selection of low and high gear ratios, allowing the rider to effectively adapt to different terrains and gradients. A higher gear ratio, for example 4.18, offers speed but demands more pedal force, perfect for flats and descents. Conversely, a low gear ratio, for example 1.5, allows easy pedaling but results in slower speed, great for climbs and rough terrain. The bigger the intervals between those numbers, the wider the gaps between the gears become. This detail matters when you're assessing whether the gears on your future bike align with your need for precision in your riding. If we take a closer look at the different combinations, we notice that certain gears are identical or very close. Now, remember when I mentioned that 2 by setups provide more gears? Well, technically they do, but due to gear overlap, a 2 by 11 setup, for example, doesn't offer the full 22 distinct gears. Instead, you have more like 14 or 15 gears. This results in a narrower range of gear choices. Now that you are familiar with gear ratios, let's put 1x and 2x setups against each other and figure out which one suits you best. A 1x setup comes with the following advantages. It simplifies the shifting process. You don't have overlapping gears, don't have to worry about cross-chaining and you only need to think about changing the gears in the back. There are simply less components to worry about, which reduces the complexity of the bike's drivetrain and in turn also simplifies bike maintenance. A one by decreases bike weight and enhances efficiency in gravel riding. Remember the gear table. With a single chain ring, there's improved ground clearance and reduced chain drop risk, thanks to narrow white teeth, a technique that prevents the chain from shifting side to side and potentially coming off the chain ring during your ride. And for the riders that appreciate streamlined aesthetics, a one by drivetrain provides a clean and minimalist look. But a one by setup also comes with some disadvantages. They have a comparatively lower gear ratio range and riders may find themselves either not having a high enough gear to keep up with the pace on flats or low enough gear to steep climbs. The larger gear increments can interfere when you want to go fast and or prioritize the ability to fine tune cadence. But you can bypass this problem by choosing a 1x12 or even a 1x13 setup where the gaps are smaller. And for large gear changes, you have to shift through the entire cassette in some cases. So who is 1x4? In hilly areas, it's a big advantage, allowing quick downhill acceleration and preventing dismounts on steep climbs. 
This makes one-by drivetrains ideal for adventurous gravel bikers who seek simplicity, excel on challenging terrain and in some cases want space for wider tires. If you're concerned about the gear range and feel that it might not be sufficient, there's the Egar setup from Campagnolo, featuring a 13 car cassette. However, 1x12 setups are more common among other manufacturers and tend to be more budget friendly. For those adventurous souls out there, you could explore mullet setups for your gravel bike. A mullet drivetrain is a hybrid group set that pairs road bike shifters with a mountain bike derailleur and wide range cassette. This setup gives you small gaps between gears in the lower range, which is fantastic for climbing trails. However, it also results in larger gaps for faster descents down a hill. Now about the 2x setup. The advantages of these are, with 2x11 or 2x12, the gear ratio range is generous, which means you can shift more precisely. 2x setups have been common for many years and they are very versatile. Multi-drives allow large gear changes quickly because of the derailleur. You have many gears to choose from, especially riders from long tours appreciate this. The disadvantages are, a 2x setup comes with higher weight due to additional components. The chain guidance over the small or the large chain ring is not ideal and can lead to the chain slipping off. Its front derailleur is prone to error especially with shocks from the underground. Incorrect shifting occurs more often, even for experienced riders. Dirt accumulates more easily on front derailleur and chain rings. A 2x setup on a gravel bike is ideal for riders who want versatility and a wider range of gear options. It suits those who anticipate riding in various terrains from steep climbs to fast descents and prefer the flexibility to easily switch between gear ratios. Additionally, riders who prioritize the ability to fine-tune their cadence and power output to match specific riding conditions may find the 2x setup to be a good fit. If you have a change of heart and decide to switch to a 1x setup on your gravel bike later, you can always convert a 2x setup into a 1x setup. But remember, you can't do it the other way around. Are you cruising through hilly terrain or gliding along peaceful city streets? In that case, the 1x11 setup is your go-to choice. If your style is more like a road bike craving speed on the flats while gearing to conquer mountains, then the 2x setup is your right of choice. For those who thrive on trails or love to tear through bike parks at full throttle, a 1x12 is the perfect match for your adventurous spirit. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you to make the decision on which setup you should get. If you like this video, please do not forget to like it and subscribe our channel. Until next time, catch you on the trails.